It is not just about what is fashionable this season. It is a step towards a more sustainable future. A future of inclusiveness and equal opportunity. It is a story of design from the grassroots to the big stage. This is the launch of Silai, a brand created with intense passion and a melange of collaborations. The past few months have seen rigorous training sessions and sleepless production schedules. But what shines through it all is the grit and dedication that these women brought to the project. One article came out uh, that said that these women walk the ramp with more confidence than any showstopper. And that's India. So it's never been surprising to me. It's surprising to most other people because they just haven't seen it. You know, we can provide all the skills, we can provide all the input. The real thing is curiosity to learn. Then skilling is, is an endless job. And the people in rural areas, I find, are much more capable of learning very quickly. You know, therefore, they can learn a lot more very quickly also, but they're not uh, uh, used to the sort of quality that high street fashion needs. So then this is where the fashion designers also come in, aside from their lovely designs, is how to ensure that these women can get trained to the level that they would expect. It was about three years ago when I was travelling with a team from Osha International to uh, visit the Silai schools in Bhuj. Okay. And when I was there, I was amazed with the kind of uh, kach embroidery and the things that the women were producing, you know. So obviously I got tempted to pick up some stuff for myself. So, so when I came back and I wore the stuff, my friends were really amazed at the kind of work that had happened and the kind of stuff that the women had created that I was, you know, inundated with orders from them. So uh, at that point in time, we didn't really have a model where we could go back to the Salai women and ask them to create garments. So the team went back to the women and uh, got them to create, uh, you know, lehengas and uh, clothes for uh, what my friends wanted to buy. And this was without any design intervention. This was the imagination of the women. They created the most exquisite garments. We set up Salai schools over the last five, six years, uh, which is based on what we've been doing. And uh, a lot of what we do is actually based on things that we heard that other people have done. About 20, 25 years ago, I read a story where a lady in uh, Rajasthan, you know, the way they do the houses, the doors of their uh, houses. Uh, she'd done some patterns. And I think Hermes, one of their buyers, was going around and he saw this pattern and he wanted to use it on his ties. And he did and sent her a check for five lakhs. 25 years. You know. So it really makes you uh, realize that after skilling, what we're doing with uh, women is skilling, which is basic skilling. And then the thought arises that if they're making something, why not make it to the highest level? This idea of uh, Fashion Week came because uh, we're trying to create inspiration. When the women learn, how much they'll earn per garment. You'll see that in rural India, they have the ability to self-organize once they understand what can be done. If you're earning 100 rupees per garment, you do one thing. If you're earning 1,000 rupees per garment, you do something else. So you'll see the self-organizing kind of principle. And when, you know, within uh, two weeks, so many uh, inquiries from other fashion labels, because uh, to, can we use your network? And I said, it's not our network. It's them. You know, you connect with them. You go through the quality, you go through the training, we'll give you the platform. So it creates uh, what hopefully is a revolution. I think it's important for uh, the growth of the textile sector. Uh, we, 
the textile sector is actually the second largest employer of uh, people across the country after agriculture and a significant part of that employment actually rests in the rural sector right now and unless you do activities where we are having conversations at the top of the pyramid uh, it, it would never really percolate down to a larger cross section and, and we hope to take these narratives and you know with the amplification of the LACME Fashion Week actually reach out to a larger set of people which would lead to significant development in the sector. Apart from becoming a part of a global fashion network, there were many things that were for these ladies. Coming to a city like Mumbai itself was a dream. And the cherry on the cake being 35,000 feet above the ground. काफी दिनों से भाई अपन को उषा कंपनी से इतना अच्छा मौका मिला है जो आज अपन चीलगाड़ी में बैठ रहे हैं बॉम्बे जा रहे हैं तो बहुत खुश हो रहे थे बैठे तब उस टाइम थोड़ा सा चक्कर आया हल्का सा तो डर गए थे फिर उड़ने के बाद तो पता ही नहीं चला कब सफर हो गया पहली बार आया तो हमको बहुत अच्छा लगा और हमको यहां नया नया देखने मिला और बहुत मजा आया नांगे इधर एक फर्स्ट इधर एक नांगे फ्लाइट ला बंदे दे लाए इपड़ा फर्स्ट टाइम में फर्स्ट टाइम बंदे उषा कंपनी इंग्लिश सेलेक्ट पन बंदा भी नांगे रंबो संदोष मादा कैलम भी बंदों ये इप इधर वारे के में इंग्लाल बंदे बंदे तो नैनची कुड़ा पाक मुड़ी ला फर्स्ट टाइम बंदे � शिक्षण देखे यही उषा शराइ स्कूल चली ऐतरसुन दो एक तरह का ऐसी पोते पार बो सोते आशा करेंगे और विशेष कोई यही फ्लाइट आशा बॉम्बे ते आशा एकदम दारुन दारुन एक्साइटमेंट है मौसम में For years. Lakme Fashion Week has led the conversation of promoting Indian handlooms and textiles. This season, they decided to bring to the foreground the impact of skill training and sustainable development in our country. A specially designed show to launch the Usha Silai label and showcase the work done by the Silai school women. We saw the smiles on their faces after all the work that they have gone through and uh, I think that gives us satisfaction when we ask them how do they feel. I felt proud to carry them on the ramp, so it was really a nice experience. I think I was more excited working with these women at their cluster and it was, and it's, this project has become very close to our heart and we really associate it with so strongly 
and to see it complete in this grand way, it's a, definitely more satisfying. It's brilliant for us. Darun lag je, kuch excited amra. Ye kuch mete jayega asse marbo, amra bhabi ni. Sotti kuch bhala lag je. Mission marbo, dhona baad SD ke ke dhona baad lekhe ma, lekhe ke dhona baad ushaake. Okay. Hello lag je, karun bhabi ne kora jen dance kar. I have learned to be more optimistic, and uh, I mean, hats off to their enthusiasm. Uh, without that, we would not have uh, reached here. Yeah, sab kuch mujhe yaad aayega aur main miss karungi. I would really say this is the beginning because this is where the work actually starts. Uh, this is the beginning of a long journey, I feel, and uh, it's it's quite heartening to see that the products have come on the ramp because, like we all know, you know, we were all moving 10 meters at a time, and now we've reached a sort of uh, concrete area which we know we can build upon. So it's great. Note to sustainability, a success story for India's quest to skill development. Inspiring creativity, building individual capacity. The Silai Label Initiative has come a long way from its conception to the launch. But the journey has only just begun. Well, sustainability, you see, what we've gone, done, done is gone to four different locations. The model works and people seem to like it and we've got uh, uh, really even with our fashion retail partners, the more people pay for the garments, the more these women earn and we're going to tell that story. Okay. On top of that story is the uh, regional fashion, okay. that when you go to four locations, we can actually extend this to every state. Uh, Usha Salai School is in every state and then you're getting to the story of uh, ethnic fashion made by rural women. So if we can do it out that way, uh, that's what we'd like to do. Next steps also, the, the, how much more we can train these ladies to uh, uh, produce garments without any supervision even. And the final step, which is the ultimate step, is if they design their own clothes. very very limiting it's very uh, like it caters to a larger audience and it's wonderful to see the faces behind these wonderful designs and the rich textiles i thought the collection was absolutely beautiful but more than the clothes i love seeing the smiles on the faces of the artisans as they walk the runway with the designers together. Um, it was a matter of great pride that at Lakme Fashion Week our designers are sharing the stage with artisans who are making their clothes for them and with them. So it was absolutely amazing. I'm so glad that Usha has taken this step forward. 
Um, I look forward to many more such collaborations at which we can respect and honor the craft and the skills of our community. during our fittings that uh, these garments were special because they were made by these women who are living in villages and who stitch clothes. So it's really nice to wear clothes by them and frankly that they're being empowered. It's great. I don't know who made this but I've seen those ladies. Most of, uh, like few of them are disabled and uh, they're from the villages so I know what goes behind making this so I really appreciate their efforts and I hope many people in India appreciate it and uh, wear their garments.